The Death Zone, by Matt Dickinson, is a gripping narrative that delves into the complexities of human nature when pushed to its limits. Set against the backdrop of Mount Everest, one of the world's most treacherous peaks, the author weaves a tale that explores the dualities of ambition and survival, camaraderie and competition, and the fragility of the human spirit in extreme conditions. The Death Zone, a term coined for the area above 26,000 feet on Mount Everest, is a place where the air is so thin that the human body begins to deteriorate. It's a realm where the stakes are high, and the margins for error are minuscule. In this hostile environment, the climbers, driven by their dreams and desires, are exposed to their most primal instincts. Dickinson portrays the main character, Al, as a man torn between his ambition and his moral compass. Al's determination to reach the summit is unwavering, but this ambition often puts him at odds with his fellow climbers. The author presents Al as a complex character, driven not just by the desire to conquer the mountain but also by personal demons. The narrative is a psychological exploration of the internal battles that climbers face in the death zone, where their relentless pursuit of glory can lead to moral compromises. The theme of camaraderie and competition is prevalent throughout the story. The climbers are not only competing against the mountain but also against each other. This rivalry adds a layer of tension to the narrative as climbers must balance their desire for personal achievement with their responsibility to their teammates. Dickinson skillfully depicts how this internal struggle can lead to moral dilemmas, where climbers are forced to make life-altering decisions. Moreover, the death zone brings to the forefront the fragile nature of the human spirit in extreme conditions. The author highlights the physiological and psychological effects of high-altitude climbing on the human body. Readers witness how the mind and body react to oxygen deprivation and harsh conditions, leading to hallucinations, impaired judgment, and irrational behavior. Dickinson's vivid descriptions immerse the audience in the harsh reality of life in the death zone, showcasing the extraordinary resilience of the human spirit as well as its vulnerability. The narrative also touches on the concept of legacy. A.L.'s obsession with reaching the summit is driven, in part, by the desire to leave a mark on the world. He wants to be remembered as someone who conquered Mount Everest. The book raises the question of whether such personal ambitions and sacrifices are worth the pursuit of an enduring legacy. Dickinson's writing is evocative and immersive. He skillfully transports readers to the heights of Mount Everest, making them feel the biting cold, the thin air, and the overwhelming isolation. Through his descriptive prose, readers experience the harsh realities of the death zone, where nature's power dwarfs human ambition. The vivid imagery and sensory details make the narrative not just a story but an experience. In conclusion, The Death Zone is a compelling exploration of the human condition when faced with extreme challenges. Matt Dickinson's narrative brilliantly captures the complexities of ambition, the dynamics of camaraderie and competition, and the vulnerability of the human spirit in the harshest of conditions. It is a story that delves deep into the moral dilemmas faced by climbers in the death zone, highlighting the sacrifices and choices they make in pursuit of their dreams. As readers journey with Al and his fellow climbers, they are left contemplating the price of ambition and the indomitable nature of the human spirit in the face of adversity.